Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I'm not here alone. So I have my guest here today. It's Christina Day. And uh, I'm really excited because she is a spiritual teacher here on YouTube and other platforms as well. She is an online course creator and also light language healer, which is really amazing. And she j just basically helps people to get through their awakening, get rid of those limiting beliefs and help people step into their own divinity which I, I have a huge honor to have you here today and I'll also let you introduce um, your channel your audience to whatever is going on today yeah thank you Alice and welcome back everyone to spiritual selfish channel if you're tuning in from my channel because we're doing this on both of our channel at the same time uh, so guys those of you who do not know Alice Alice is amazing a uh, friend of mine, and she is actually intuitive YouTuber, right? And she is really guiding and helping other people on their spiritual path as, you know, having the same time human experience. So I think it's really, really beautiful and important message to share because so many of us has been just stuck in being human and <laughs> forgetting the, the whole, you know, the spirit world and so on. And actually, this is what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, so if you're following us on Instagram, you probably saw some of our uh, stories. The whole, today we're talking all about, you know, psychic abilities, non-physical, paranormal. And really the intention of this video is to make it a little bit more normal, more common, because innately all of us are having these experiences, but no one talks about it because it's scary or it might be laughed at, suppressed and so on and so forth. So just for you guys to, you know, give a little structure of this video, uh, we're gonna be talking about what does it even mean to have psychic abilities? how it can look to you know for the first time to connect to start channel we're going to share some of our experiences as well and what is really going to be important we're going what we will touch on is the fear fear that may come up the uncomfortability when we start doing or having these experiences why this fear comes up and how to really face and deal with this emotions and fears um if you want to go that path, but you feel, you know, you're kind of holding yourself back because that's what I experienced at the beginning, for sure. And I'm sure Alice can relate. Oh, I can relate. <laughs> so real guys, we're going to be just showing up honestly and sharing. So feel free to ask any questions if you're watching this in the live chat uh, or in the comments and, you know, me and Alice will be popping in. But I would love to start with simply sharing a really miraculous way how me and Alice connected <laughs> because I actually was doing another um, YouTube interview with a friend of ours, uh, Beatrice, and we were also chatting about, you know, galactic beings, psychic abilities. And at that point, me and Alice did not know each other. Um, so I think you reached out to me on Instagram or was it YouTube? Yeah, probably it was that video. Yes. So what happened initially, I was thinking about this actually before we, uh, we were doing, you were doing this call. So what happened was, I remember I seen the interview with uh, you and Beatrice and I was like, man, I mean, this is really, really good. I mean, you both, I feel like the interview itself was really good. So I commented uh, you know, all the amazing stuff that I could relate to. And I seen you reply to the comment. And then I think you went on my channel and the video that you picked was my video about relocation astrology. And this, this is like the most fascinating part because there's like so many videos that you can pretty much choose from, but you picked that one. And the reason why we actually realized that we both might be from the same country is because you seen, I was showing my own map and you were like, wait a second, are you not from Riga by any chance or whatever? I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> so that was pretty, pretty cool. And I was like, oh my God, what are the chances? Because I did not know, I did not have a clue that you, that we might be related in that kind of way. 
which is really, really amazing. Yeah, so <laughs> this is hilarious. Um, those of you guys who are here listening and like what those girls are talking about, basically, yeah, Alice commented on one of my videos. I watched her videos, like I'm like really impressed with the quality of her videos. And I think, well, she's probably like from America or UK or something. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I picked that video about, yeah, like relocation map based on your like uh, birth date and something, because few days before a friend of mine told me about this thing and I was like wow I really need to look it up I looked it up and I was confused as hell <laughs> then that morning that day when we connected on YouTube I opened TikTok and the first thing I saw was somebody walking through that map of relocation I was like wow I still don't get anything but I need to look it up so when I landed on your channel that was the first video I was like I cannot ignore seeing the synchronicities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was the thing that happened. Now I remember. Yes, yeah, yeah, and 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 it turned out that you know, both of us are Latvians. Just uh, Alice is living now in Ireland, and I'm now currently in Latvia. So yeah, we just wanted to share the story because we might think you know wow what a crazy synchronicity, but this type of synchronicities are happening time and time again and you know more often as you know as earth is now ascending people are experiencing spiritual awakening but a lot of the people just don't notice these things right yeah. and it just says that we're so deeply connected all of us on energetical level and what is meant for you people situations opportunities they will not pass you right as long as we pay attention to them mm -hmm. So I would love to touch on our first point, and it is all about, you know, what are psychic abilities? What does it mean to be psychic, to channel, to, you know, communicate with non-physical? Um, yeah, Alice, I would love to hear your point of view on this one. So I believe that, again, this is what we were talking before this interview, is that there is this, cons uh, this notion that channeling and connecting with the source is like woo-woo, it's like something out of this world, this is cr absolutely crazy, only the chosen ones can do this which is really not true. Um, to be honest, we even channel sometimes without even knowing it on a daily basis. To be honest, for like to kind of explain, I feel like it's just like tapping into the source is, is, is maybe it's not always to do, I guess, with seeing a being. It's I feel like it's just tapping into higher realms where, again, I, I feel like there's a lot of ways how you can do it as well. Um, I feel like you're better at this because I have, I'm kind of the one who hasn't been yet like directly channeling, like let's say talking to a being. But for me, it happens in a way that let's say I might be purposely or not purposely channeling. So when it's purposely channeling, I might have an intention. Let's say I want to, uh, I don't know, dive deep deeper into some kind of question and then there's like thoughts running through my head. So there's also, I think this misconception that when you're channeling, you're going to be hearing like, other voices and like uh, it's might happen again I don't know but I feel like for me it never has happened that way um so yeah and also I I have also channeled information while I'm just cleaning the floor and I get thoughts that I know are not my thoughts so I feel like um yeah it's hard to see the difference at first but I guess, yeah, the information that is not necessarily yours uh, or or might hold something you've never thought about before, I feel like is a way of ch channeling, at least that's how I do it. But I feel like you have a lot of experience in this, so you can definitely add on, on that. Yeah, yeah, I love that you're saying, um, you know, it's just tapping into different dimension and, you know, to break it even that even more simple, uh, we have to remember that, you know, we are living in three-dimensional physical matter, but there are so many other things that we are not able to perceive. So, for example, if you will not, you know, have eyesight or, you know, ability to smell and you are not able to perceive a meal or something, it does not mean that it's not there, right? So psychic abilities, it's again, just guys, think about the sixth sense. That's why it's called sixth sense, to perceive something that is on an energy level, but it's not perceived being able to register in our human uh, with our other five senses, right? And I love the point you brought up there is 
feeling and understanding like or just knowing that something you're getting information but you know it's not yours it's not coming from you right and this is pretty big indication that you are channeling because yeah i did had like like for my most of my life i always had like this inner voice in me and i was thinking this is me but it's only when i kind of consciously became aware uh, that I'm tapping into different dimensions or it's my angels or my spirit guides uh, dropping some knowledge, then I was able to discern, um, oh, it's me. Oh, it's not me. This is my mind speaking. So for example, I had a situation when I was uh, crossing the pedestrian, um, like the zebra thing. And it was that I was coming from one side and there was a lady coming with a pram from another side and the car stopped in her line. So she passed. And then the moment both of us kind of come in the middle of the road, I get this feeling that the guy who stopped the car, he does not see me. And immediately I hear the voice in my head. He doesn't see you. Ooh, <laughs> Yeah. And I, that's why I stopped in the middle of the road. And the moment I was stopping, the guy put, you know, the gas on. But he luckily saw me at that point because he was so focused on that woman with a pram, he ignored me. And, you know, when we really pay attention to these kind of things, and maybe you cannot point at this point <laughs> um, situations in your life. But I promise you, it's happening all the freaking time. I just could assume that I somehow guessed it. No, I just have the ability now to discern what is my mind speaking and when it was actually a guidance from other dimensions. 100%. You just mentioned really, really strong points here because, as again, as Christina said, there's like there's different dimensions that you can tap in, but to kind of like even break it down in a really simple way, or it's not even that simple. It's like actually very fascinating from what you just described that you have this little voice sometimes in your head that says like a confirmation or nearly like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Don't do this or, or do, you know, I have, I've had those moments before and I'm like, Hey, I didn't, I didn't think this, you know, I didn't think with my own, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, again, you need over the time, you will be able to discern which is your which information is yours and which is not. And I also wanted to add, I don't know where I heard this, but when you mentioned about us not able to sense things, and therefore a lot of people in society deny uh, the 5D stuff and like the spiritual stuff because they can't see it or sense it with any of the senses. I, I wanted to say that, you know, I heard this somewhere say this. Um, just because you can't see bacteria doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I mean, that's such a mm -hmm. fucking like, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this, okay. is, yeah. this is such a, a really good um, perspective because like, it's true. I mean, if you can't see, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Yeah. So I, I love the fact that you mentioned that it really helps to understand what spirituality, I guess, is. And that I, I also remember when I was tapping into all of this knowledge, I was a first little bit like unsure if what if this is all just made up you know mm -hmm. but then obviously it's because of the obviously it's 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 a lot of things why it's limiting conditions and all that it's it's all already in school in our families it's been kind of been given to us so we 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 doubt that it's 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 obviously it yeah. happens but yeah yeah 100 percent. and i think um it is really important for us to understand that we are humans, right? And most of the time society has, or, you know, media and everyone, that human is just like, you know, a developed monkey and that we already are, you know, super advanced. Or another way also, you know, if we start talking about the aliens or, you know, higher intelligence, blah, 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 we kind of put human very low and, undeveloped creature and being when in fact being a human is massively underrated we are like on a cosmic level we are one of most um not advanced but more whole um i think it's like developed 
say again? Yeah, it's like a complex, like a complex being from all perspectives. We have that in psychic side, and we also have the body with all the experience that we can experience here on Earth, being in a physical body. So I think that's what you. Yeah, and also, also, you know, got those of you guys who don't believe in aliens probably will think I'm saying bullshit now. But those of you who are aware of aliens, extraterrestrials, and so on and so forth, will know that humans have 12 strand DNA, and at the moment we are only using two strand DNA, and one of the predominant is reptilian DNA. We have reptilian brain at the bottom of our head. It's, it's a fact, it's a science, you cannot deny it. Um, so, you know, if we talk about aliens and all other beings, they only are, you know, Pleiadian, Arcturian, you know, Mantis, Gray, whatever. We have uh, been adjusted, our DNA has been adjusted. So we are literally an experiment of <laughs> uh, having all of these different DNAs and being influenced by all of these beings. So we actually have the power to tap in all of them. And mm -hmm. this is why we're so being looked at, you know, Earth right now, because humans are really, really powerful. We're just not freaking realizing because we've been stuck in this matrix and um, believing that we're just bone and meat, right? Mm -hmm. True. I can, yeah, hundred percent. You put, you really put it in a in a bit in perspective for other people, and I feel like. For some of the people who watch our channels are going to be like, oh, what, what, what is this? But uh, again, take it or, or leave it. It's not like we're forcing this information. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like it's just great to always be open minded to different different um, perspectives and information and, and take what resonates. Again, I first I remember when I first started connecting with Christina, I didn't really know any anything about that. But yeah, it, again, over the time, it makes more and more sense. So, yeah, great for mentioning that really. Yeah, it's amazing to see how one's knowledge and perspective can change so quickly when we are presented with the, you know, information and your soul is like, yes, this is right for me, not just, you know, limited conditioning. But um, to come back to our structure, um, right, we, we started talking about, you know, well, how do I know if it's channeling or it's me? Uh, I would love for you to share when was the first time and how the first the first time <laughs> can look like, you know, when you consciously become aware, oh, I'm channeling, oh, you know, I'm communicating with something greater than is me. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, I was always avoiding that experience, um, but then, well, again, I have done channeling, I guess, in a more, how do I say this? Not like, again, I, I feel like there's this thing of clairvoyant and all that, so I feel like I have not been tapping into that really, but I feel like my first real experience was with automatic writing, and I, I know that a lot of people do this. It is just a very, I think, it's, it's, it's a pretty easy way how to do it. And while I was writing things down, I was like, whoa, 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 this is definitely not my thoughts. Like what, how on earth was I able to even invent this in my head? So as I was writing it down, I was actually able to channel pretty amazing stuff about myself. And I also happened to channel future by accident. And it, it's actually happening right now in my current reality. I channeled these things a while ago, like, what is it, five months ago? So that was my first experience. So if you are, let's say, scared or you're not like comfortable with um, going in like deep trans meditations and all that, I mean, even something like automatic writing can help you. And it can actually help you see that it's nothing that crazy, really. Um, at least I did not have any bad experience, but I want to say one thing about channeling is that you really have to make sure you're kind of prepared and you do your, maybe your affirmations, you cleanse your space because as we are connecting to a higher, um, let's say being, or we're connecting to source, whatever you want to call it, really, uh, we are also, we have to be aware that there is like the lower beings like shadow and all like shadow beings. And I don't know, like darker, dark beings, I'd say. Um, and it's not to say that you will connect with them, but it's, I feel like your state and what kind of state you're in is very important. So again, the fear and being scared 
I mean, you kind of have to relax and make sure you're not in that state of being. At least for me, it was very important. And then when I was able to relax, I was actually able to um, get that, that first experience going. So that was kind of my experience. Um, yeah, with channeling pretty much for the first time. Yeah, thank you for sharing. I think that's amazing uh, way to put it, like how to overcome it, you know, not to go straight into it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it, like I've had really like a lot of my downloads also came through writing and I had no idea about automatic writing at that point yet. Uh, it's like really about from your videos, I was like, oh, I'm actually doing automatic writing too. <laughs> but hey. uh, it wasn't the first time for me. The first time was actually, um, I was really willing to come into communication with higher guidance. I think it was end of 2019 when I really was going through my shadow work and everything clearing in my mental body, emotional body, physical body. And at that point I was uh, watching Abraham Hicks a lot. So I've decided, you know, I'm gonna try it because I, from even as a teenager, I was always fascinated by psychics and secretly wanting these super abilities as well. <laughs> but now I see why, because it's always is inside of us. Um, but yeah, like in such a terms, I was willing and open to tap into it. So I did put myself into meditation. I found some, you know, neural beats on YouTube and I was like, I'm just going to try. And I, you know, put it on 15 minutes. I was in meditation, nothing. I was like, no, another 15 minutes, nothing. And then maybe at mark of 45 minutes, I don't remember the switch, but it was energetically, I knew there's something else coming at me. And really, oh, actually this energy, it came through as Abraham Hicks because mm -hmm. it is often that, you know, these energies, including bad or good, they will project themselves as something that you are comfortable with um, into your consciousness. So it's really important that we also discern is it good or bad energy. And I obviously could discern that it is something that wishes me good. And I really was showing what's my life purpose, what I'm meant to do. Oh. And I, yeah, I actually jumped up and I started writing everything down. And then I went to my mom, I shared with her my experience. And I just started crying from gratitude because I was like, hell, finally, finally, I was able to do this. Um, and yeah, like, but then later, I also had experiences, not experiences, but deeper knowing that, okay, if I want to take this seriously and channel and give information to people and really uh, evolve spiritually and use these abilities consciously, I felt this fear inside of me. I felt like, oh, maybe I will be attacked or how to do protection, right? Without really looking up anything, as you said, Alice, uh, it's really important to do your own protection and be aware of, yeah, it's not all love and light. There are other beings. And especially when we go through th from three dimensional into 5D, 6D, and whatever being you're communicating, the 4D is where the spirituality kind of starts, uh, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and there's a lot of, I don't want to say lower, but if you look at, at the consciousness of, you know, 12 dimensions, four is kind of the lowest, right? So it this is, is yeah. so this is where all of these beings um, are, and it is important for you to protect your energy, you have your intention, because you're going to be passing through the uh, 4D. 100%. And I actually had... Um... I just remembered uh, this this thing of like when we think of like a bad entity, let's say, or like a lower entity, we imagine like demons. At least in my mind, before I started doing, it's like, oh, it must be something horrible. But to be honest with you, a lot of the times, that's why it's so important that we do the protection and we. I guess train maybe the intuition we can sense the energy because a lot of times they can actually project themselves as oh I'm you know the your spirit guide nearly that kind of way so it's not always uh, because in like I'm saying this from my perspective because I was always scared of scary images and scary beings but it doesn't always happen like that 
but it again doesn't mean that just because they don't look scary that they're not you know that they're straight away they're a good being or whatever so this is a really good point that christina mentioned it's really important that we um do the protection before we go any into any of this if we want to do it for especially i think if we want to do it for other people when you're trying to do like uh, maybe uh healing sessions and all that it's it's very important yeah yeah 100 percent. and even if you don't want to do it as a healing cabinet service you're just curious you just want to get into it you want to be able to tap in and get the messages for yourself um yes. this is why i always recommend tiffany's course and i'm gonna leave it in my description as well uh, yes. but yeah like i it was probably a year that i became aware that am i able to do this until i was like no I have to, you know, invest in the knowledge. And I did the course with Tiffany and there I learned a lot of protection, invocation, different beings. And so I highly recommend you guys, if you feel you're able to do this, but you feel this kind of pullback, you know, find a mentor, find a mentor. Don't You don't have to do this alone. You know, there are so many people who have done this before. So utilize their knowledge. Yes, because I definitely have held shame around that. Like, oh, why am I not able to do this on my own? Why do I, let's say, hold the fear or, fear or uh, like insecurity around that? But there is no shame around asking help. And actually, I think it is, it is actually very good if you have a mentor who can help you guide through that journey. Because again, it is sometimes I think necessary that we clear the vessel nearly and uh, we break down all the you know, the limiting aspects we have in ourselves. So then it's actually easier, I think, to even, you know, elevate on this game nearly later on. Yeah, 100%. And I feel we already kind of touched on that it's okay to feel scared, guys. I mean, come on, for most of our life, we've been, you know, intimidated with these things that stay away, stay away, and that you, yeah, gonna have like demons and Satan uh, <laughs> to come to you and kill you. But mm -hmm. it's not always like this, right? And um, I just want to quickly touch on why, um, why you might be feeling scared. Um, so Alice, do you want to share this? Because I know you're, this is something you're currently experiencing as well. Yeah, so I feel like, Again, I want to be completely open minded. So if you don't believe in past lives or anything we're talking about, this is not the right video for you. But I strongly believe that uh, this really has to do for me personally, it has to do with like past life conditioning, possibly baggage, something that I have committed to in past lives, not like committed a crime, not in that sense, but committed to, let's say, not speaking my truth, holding myself back, or maybe I was in danger um, because um of my psychic let's say abilities or maybe i was helping the community but it ended up actually threatening my existence so for me personally it feels like it definitely there is something that i haven't yet uh, worked on and healed and let go of so again i'm not ashamed to even share that because i'm not a professional or a pro and i feel like it's actually good because i haven't seen a lot of people let's say online who actually tell their audience that hey you know i'm still dealing with this hey this is actually still a problem for me so yeah i can openly say that i am currently clearing that but i feel like yeah it is it is it is great um it is a great opportunity because then if i'm able to get through all of that and get through the fear then i can share that with other people and hopefully help others um uh, yeah get out of that fear state of fear and actually like the limiting uh, stuff that is holding themselves back from going into the full potential and channeling and all that stuff so yeah for me it is definitely i think that part and also um I feel like I've been very influenced by the uh, movies because I feel like all of this spiritual stuff, aliens, is so like demonized in our society and nearly like, oh, it's a taboo. Oh, you wouldn't want to go there. Oh, you wouldn't want to, you know. So for me, it was actually acknowledging that at first and realizing that, hey, that is not entirely true. But it takes time, you know. Once you realize it doesn't happen in one day that, okay, I'm open and I'm, I'm not fearful anymore and, and I'm ready, you know. So it's a process. So that's kind of, yeah, I think uh, my perspective on that. Yeah. 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 Wow. Thank you for sharing. I definitely can relate to a lot of this. 
uh, because when I started uh, doing this work, yeah, as, as you said, I also felt it's not safe and I could not understand why, but now I know it's like, you know, from many of us have been, you know, priestess, high priestess, light workers in the past, but, you know, when we will try to do, use our abilities, we were persecuted, um, and it just creates, you know, this karmic loop and, 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 and trauma that follows you uh, across all of your past lifetimes until you deal with it. And uh, yeah, uh, in regards to, you know, if we're speaking just about this life, if you look at the movies and all the uh, conditioning, everything, you know, aliens and the woo-woo is so demonized. Why? Because they want you to fear that part of you, that you actually ever you don't connect with that part of you the spirit of yours who which is actually the power the most powerful part of you um because uh, guys if you haven't catched up yet on the fact that you're alien <laughs> you're actually alien and you're here to do this uh, big mission on the planet like well hello welcome to our world and you know <laughs> you might think yeah christina you're just saying this blah 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 no like the reason, the fact you are watching this video and, you know, it's not going to be a million people <laughs> who are going to watch this video. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> but you are energetical match to hear this message in this point in time. And I remember when I heard somebody also saying, you're an alien. If you cannot accept that you are an alien, how you can, you know, accept other aliens right so we have to accept the part of us that we are actually psychics already we all have this ability it's just like uh realizing that we've been suppressed we've been scared we've been you know uh, <laughs> punished banished so many things done to us for tapping into this part of us so it's normal to feel scared but just realize you have to release it as any other limitation or trauma from your being in order to move uh, with more ease and openness in such a sense. Uh, and, and for me, really, when I started working with Tiffany is when I was like, okay, I actually know my shit. I actually am able to do this and I'm not afraid anymore because I have the backup now. Mm -hmm. Yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah, you're amazing. Like you actually, I feel like, yeah, I love how this conversation is going because I feel like it is even by watching this video and maybe if it's maybe if some of the stuff is new for you, it is already opening a, a part of you if you're obviously open to to the information that we're sharing. But yeah, I so I love how we put this in in really great perspective because yeah, again, I'm I'm definitely someone who is still a little bit fearful around that and I'm still working through that but yeah all, everything that we're talking about is just giving me more and more in that confidence and direction of also where I want to go and then yeah as you mentioned Tiffany uh she's a great spiritual teacher, so you can check out her channel I'm also going to leave in my description box so you guys can have a look yeah, 100%. And uh, I think we're going to be wrapping up things here soon. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things, the last thing is, what if you can't overcome the fear, but you feel, you know, pulled to do this work? And one comment that I really loved what you shared earlier is that, you know, we don't see often online people sharing that they're afraid to do these things, all right? We either see mediums and, you know, all full-on psychics, healers who are doing this, and then we see the other part of society who doesn't believe or know about this. It's rarely when we hear about people who are like, yes, I can do this, but I'm working through it. I'm, I'm learning, I'm work in progress. So, you know, um, I think we it's also important to empower this uh, group of people who are already aware, but yeah, fill these blocks uh, and, you know, put all this information out there. And, and you guys, if you feel you're one of those people, you know, comment below and share it. Um, there's nothing wrong or shameful around it. Um, so yeah, Alice, what will your take be on that? You know, how to push through and, you know, get over this hurdle um of you know tapping into even when you're scared right yeah so I feel like 
uh, for me, what came to me and my answer to this was pretty much don't force it. If you feel like you're scared, you don't have to just like, okay, no, I have to know. I have to be like this warrior. I can do it. I'm not scared. Realistically, if you have to push yourself so much, you are scared. So there is a reason. Uh, I feel like the reason actually, I feel like, okay, so I have this uh, idea in my head. I want to actually do a video on my channel about um, setbacks are sometimes there for a reason. And it's, it's actually for you to reflect. So if you feel there is a resistance, it is actually a great reason for you to um, maybe not do it just yet, because again, channeling is great, but if you are not in the right headspace, if you have fear, all of this stuff, that experience cannot be as great. So for me personally, I'm like, right, that means that I have to do some clearing, some healing, have to address some issues. And when that is done, I can fully possibly go into the channeling, let's say, tap into different dimensions and different dimensional beings and possibly and all that. So if you have fear around that, it's fine. <laughs> you, you have nowhere to rush. And also, as we already mentioned before, seeking help is fine. Even like, because I feel like I'm kind of in the middle. I am pretty, um, um, I'm pretty, how do I say this? Um, I do stuff like I chant, like I do spiritual work, but I'm also, I wouldn't consider myself as a spiritual teacher. And I felt shame around asking help. Because I'm like, wait, so you don't have enough power to do this? Or do you, do you don't have enough knowledge to do this? But realistically, that is not even the point. We don't have to be here struggling on our own, you know, like, oh, you know, I don't need help. We're here for each other. So um, you definitely seek help and find someone you trust because find someone who is really good at it, a shaman, a healer, whatever really helps. Um, because I feel like for some people, it is deeper than just surface level fear. I think we, me and Christina talked already before that some souls are really traumatized and the, and the resistance is so big that you just cannot break through with some affirmations and saging the room. You know, it just doesn't happen like that. We have to be real, you know? Um, so personally, I'm struggling with that again, but I feel like it's when the breakthrough happens, it is, it is, I was definitely something I will, will share with you as well. Um, hopefully um, it will happen, but yeah, like again, and as Christina said, there is a lot of that. Um, there's like two sides. The ones who are rich, the hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear back. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're gonna edit this out. Um, happens. So yeah, anyways, I, I feel like there's there's two sides uh, nearly the ones who are already fully into that. And then there's people who don't believe it. And, and then where is the middle, you know, <laughs> I'm definitely in the middle part here. But uh, again, it's it's great, because you have to, like, sometimes it's not going to happen just as smoothly as you would want it to happen. But again, I feel like my experience is there for a reason. So I might, I might as well then help people who are struggling with this fear around spirituality later on. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, there has been just so much, you know, pressure that we have to you know, struggle and, you know, hard work and everything in our, you know, super society so we apply this hustle mentality on spirituality but there's nothing wrong with asking for help that's one two we have to upgrade and up level every single day you know if you don't even realize this you know we are upgrading and evolving every single day on an energetic level um so it's you know normal to utilize somebody to speed up your learning right? Why you don't have to do 20 years of mistakes that somebody already made, and they can explain it to you how to go from A to B in like two steps. Love that. Love that. True. Very true. All right, guys, um, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, is there anything last words, Alice, you'd like to share? I think I feel like I mentioned everything I wanted to say personally. Um, it was great to have this conversation. And yeah, I think I mentioned everything and more that I wanted to share, which is exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm the same, you know, I, I feel like 
card a lot. <laughs> so I hope it's not too intense for people. Uh, let us guys know how you relate, your experiences. Don't be afraid to share. I'm also going to leave for those of you who are watching on my channel um, a playlist where I have some downloads from Pleiadians, uh, you know, uh, Galactic Federation, my psychic abilities story. Uh, so you can, you know, go through it, listen, because it's not a coincidence you're attracted to this type of content, right? So I'm, um, you know, happy to see that you are embarking on this journey. Let's normalize it. Let's share this message and uh, support each other. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll talk with you in the comments. Bye. All right. Bye.